again has not been able to defend it since because Icon DHA has been there every step of the way hence the US title shutdown something went right my fellow Americans welcome to day 15 of the United States title shutdown and now let me be clear I wasn't scheduled to come out here till later, but no, 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 no. The first match can wait because last week on Edge, you all bore witness to a tragedy. A referee who seemed on the side of justice. Oh, and listen to the sheeple again. Bah, DHA. Bah. You're so mean, DHA. Why are you so mean? I am speaking truth. And if you can't handle it, if your liberal ears can't manage, then I recommend you take those pointer fingers on each hand, stick them into your ears while I'm discussing important matters. Now, last week, a referee named Earl, the same referee who took it upon himself to change the rules of a title match just because he wanted to, did not extend me the same courtesy. Now at Wrestle Series 10, it was an accident when I bumped into Knight with the title. It was, and anybody saying otherwise is just spreading fake news. It was an accident. But Earl says, Knight, can we continue? And of course, Knight could. But last week, when Knight intentionally purposefully and with malice hit me below the belt his explicit purpose to be disqualified I told the referee the same referee to restart the match that I could go on no DHA I was told no the match is over now tell me that isn't biased and where, oh where is Earl this week? He's probably in Aruba spending all that cash he made by screwing me over. Now I dare you to look at the evidence and tell me it's all in my head that there is clearly not a conspiracy. Let's ask the big questions. How much did Knight pay Earl? Or was that all ordered by Stuart Worf? You think I don't know who's pulling the strings here? You think I don't know what's going on right under my nose? And since, since I know that the cabal against DHA won't do the right thing, which is strip Knight of the United States Championship and give the belt to the rightful owner, the U.S. Champion, you deserve! Instead, I offer a solution. This goes out to Knight because I know he's watching. Knight, what about a debate? Next week at Frostbite, I want to stand in this ring with you and we speak to the people directly. We discuss the issues, the immigration of challengers, the right of all citizens of the world to fight for their designated country instead of coming here and taking opportunities away from U.S. citizens. And then, because the whole night is all about polls and the people voting, we give the power to the people. We put a poll up right then and there and let the people vote on who won the debate. And we agree, whoever wins at the end of the show walks out the champion of the United States. Well, this, this would be conceivably the first time it would ever be possible to have a championship change hands in a debate. Yeah, you know, my eyesight must really be getting bad. I can't even see the tinfoil hat on DHA's head right now. <sighs> Day 15 of the United States shutdown. DHA calling for a debate. 
between him and the architect of annihilation. Once again, a fan poll <laughs> will be done. The winner, if DHA gets his wish, the winner Have of I the been debate. Gone too long. I was United States champion once. You know what happened? I won it. Then I in lost the it in the ring. Did you debate in the ring? My fists, yes. So, we fight. Did it old school. But that's what we are... That's the, that's the challenge that's been laid for us right now. A debate between the current and the former United States champion. And you can, you can see DHA up in the ring and asking, where is Knight? Is he already, is he already locked up? Well, I would say no because we are about to see the architect of annihilation right here tonight. Oh, bloody hell. This is VWE, not CNN. Give me a break. What's next, a C-SPAN champion? God, no, please. You Americans really cannot take a loss properly, can you? Unreal. Now, now you got my mind working on who the C-SPAN champion would be. Nonetheless, there is the Architect of Annihilation. He is here tonight, obviously, to answer the words issued by the icon, DHA. Well, come on, get in the ring, get this over with. Jeez, we... I see you have a lot of work to do in VWE. So let me get this straight. At Frostbite, you want to debate for a title instead of wrestling for a wrestling title. Did I hear that right? Well, let's put it simply, Knight. I already beat you last week. By all rights, I should be standing here with that title on that my waist. That is a great idea. A debate. Best idea you've had yet. At least one of them. Great idea. Let's have a debate. You know what? Why even wait for Frostbite? Let's have a debate right now. I'm guessing you already had your opening arguments, right? This is the part why rebuttal, is that how this works? You're more in the political sphere than I am. All right, that's cool. Uh, yes, this would be that time. And ladies and gentlemen, please grab your pillows because Knight's going to talk. Well, I guess we're going to do this right now. Why is this happening? Well, good to move on, referee. It looks like we're about to have a match, finally. I think we're going to have a debate. A, a what? So, yep. Then, well, I mean, while we're at... You know, I'm not really a fan of the two-party system here. So, you know what? While we're at it, Austin Knight, here's your chance. You can actually debate and win the US title. Nobody has to punch you. Me and John are your friends. I'll ask him very nicely not to hurt you. All you have to do is come out here and join in. We'll let you have a go at it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ain't nobody getting in the way of my title shot, Knight. If you don't understand that this is just between you and me giving the power to the people, then the shutdown will continue indefinitely. Oh, so you don't want us? All right, all right. I mean, it's not a big deal to me. You know, he usually leaves his balls at home and only brings them when he's talking on Twitter. So, this is where I talk, right? This is where I have to rebuttal everything you just said. <sighs> you know, David, there was a time when I was actually excited to fight you because you were the hashtag pound for pound greatest wrestler ever. And it wasn't just you that said that. There were other people that actually think that you were the 
the icon, as you say, the pound for pound greatest wrestler ever. You've won world titles all over the grid. You've done this, you've done that. So I, I feel like I should be excited to fight someone. I fought great ones. I fought gods, but I have get to match up with the pound for pound greatest wrestler, right? That should be exciting. And here you are wanting to debate me instead of wrestling me. <laughs> and here I thought maybe, just maybe, you would change since Wrestle Series. I thought you had gotten rid of Cheryl and all the BS, the low blows that you tried there. I thought maybe you were trying to actually fight me as the wrestler you're supposed to be. But then I realized that now you don't want to wrestle, you just want to worm your way through it. So, <laughs> I mean, if your BS is so bad that Cheryl White had to leave you, we're really getting into some extreme territory there, aren't we? And eh, your time is up. Amazingly enough, you didn't even touch on the topics. The topics was immigration of challengers. We were talking about the truth, how you screwed me. But like any other liberal, when you can't dispute the facts, you go on a personal attack. How sad. How pathetic of you. The truth is, Cheryl White got a job down in D.C. and is living it up, helping the Republican Party succeed leading into 2020. Now, if you'd like to get back on the topics, how the United States Championship is called that for a reason, it should be for the United States citizens only, I'd be happy to give you some more time. Oh, sure. Well, how about, can I talk about your shutdown? Can I do that? Can we talk about the shutdown? Is that okay with you? Yes, no, mate. Okay. All right, yeah. Yeah, let's talk about the shutdown, which is a justified situation which that you thought on. Failure. Failure. I don't, need, I don't even know what you think you're doing here, David. You're, like, you're stopping me from competing. Do you realize that you basically just relegated yourself to being my gatekeeper it hasn't what bothered I... me it has no shut the hell up for once shut the hell up look at all these people clamoring for the shutdown because what is happening is that i am not stopping you hey, from competing i am stopping you from defacing the united states championship No, what you're doing is you're just sitting there, you're, and you're waiting for someone to come kick your ass. Because I thought eventually someone has got to be hungry enough for a title to just throw you out of the way and come get in the ring to face me. And sadly, it hasn't happened yet, but you know what? I got so desperate to find a challenger, I offered it up to that tag match, and sure enough, there you were. I thought I'd give you a second chance. But you know what? You did the same bullshit you did before, David. You tried to hit low, and you got mad when it blew up in your face. And so you say you're doing a shutdown like it affects me. Because I'm not wrestling? You think all of a sudden this is negative on me? I'm still the champ. That's not going to take the belt off me, David. The only thing it's doing is saving wear and tear on my body. Let's me go into the gym, start working up, so eventually when someone does get in here, it's going to be even worse than it was before. So, let me spell it out for you. You're shut down, David. It's a failure. Failure. Because you've just made yourself a gatekeeper, David. It's a failure just like everything else you've tried to do while holding on to this title of greatest, pound for pound greatest wrestler ever. You know what? I take that back. There's one thing that you were able to successfully shut down, David. The 
only thing you've been able to ever successfully shut down was OEW. Oh. Very strong words right there. Well, I don't think DHA cared for that too much. Kicks him right in the gut. And that puts Knight right on his backside. He hits that hits that um that famous kick the DHA is known for. Yeah, where the so called debate was supposed to begin at. Well, I guarantee you this situation is not done, and we have got something coming up a week from tonight called Frostbite. Just as good a place as any to settle it, I would say. Meanwhile, we'll get underway with our first match here momentarily. <laughs> it will done. be... I'm not done. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I think I struck a nerve there. The DHA laid completely out. David, <laughs> you seem upset, so how about this? Since you don't like rules at Frostbite, I'll give you one more shot. No disqualification. So you won't have to worry about rules. But after I bounced your fat fucking head off the canvas, there won't be another excuse for you ever. Well, now there's a situation right there that I think just about anybody could get behind. It will be the icon DHA. It will be the architect of annihilation, the United States champion. No disqualifications one week from tonight at Frostbite. Speak for yourself. Knowing what DHA can do or what he's willing to do is, you got to wonder if that's wise to make a no DQ match. <laughs> 